Are you considering moving your email marketing to HubSpot, but you're not quite sure how it stacks up against MailChimp, Constant Contact, Drip, or other common services? Well, we're gonna take a look at the drag and drop interface in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. If you're looking to do email marketing in HubSpot, the beauty of this is HubSpot is designed as a contact oriented database first with marketing and services laid on top of it. What that means is everything that we do is central to the contact and the things that make the contact really unique. So instead of saying, I'm gonna drop everybody into an email client and blast them emails, which by the way, we should never use that message anymore, but we actually get a chance to say, these are the things that are unique about the people I want to message and here's what's important to them. And then I can actually design a fairly straightforward email and have templates to choose from right inside of HubSpot. So let's dive in and take a walk through what this looks like in HubSpot, whether you're on the starter, pro or enterprise version. So here in HubSpot, we've got this marketing email interface. And again, depending on the level of HubSpot that you're using, we will have different functionalities available to us. If you happen to be on the free, you're only gonna see the fact that you can use drag and drop, and there is going to be a limit to the number of emails that you send. On starter, we're gonna have a limit to the types of templates you can select. On Pro, you can start to get much more granular with your template selection, with a design. You can start doing A-B testing. And then with M Enterprise, we get a chance to do all sorts of things with automations and RSS and form fills and smart content, which again, we will not go through in this video. But let's just walk through the very basic interface and let you take a look at what it looks like. And you'll see that it's very familiar to the things like MailChimp and those others on the market. So here, if I click on create an email, we're gonna be asked what type of email do I wanna create? So again, if you happen to have the starter version, you will not see the automated or RSS options, but we're going to use the regular or just what we consider to be an email marketing communication um, to demonstrate that here. So we've got the templates that are an option here. These types of templates, again, you'll not see them in your starter version, but pro and enterprise, you can actually create a template library and then choose from that library every time you go to send something. So again, just like these other programs on the market, you've got a chance to build that look and feel. And then every time you deploy that in your email marketing. Now, what I really love about what they've been recently working on at HubSpot is this drag and drop interface, which makes it really easy to get something out, standardize kind of the padding and some of the look and feel of the basic blocks. And then you can actually save those blocks and apply them over and over again. So if you have a signature, let's say you put on every email from the CEO or maybe a product manager, you can actually standardize that block and drag it right into your email. So we're gonna use this basic one here just as an example. So I set it up, I've got this new email here. And you know, every time you're naming emails inside of HubSpot, something you wanna think about is just making sure that the name is easily viewed so you know what's in it, you know what the date was, and you know what it's for. So in this case, we would actually, let's say we're using this for a new product release. Um, and let's pretend that I actually, I have a company that sells pet food. So we're gonna do this one that's a product launch, underscore um, kitten food promotion, and then we're gonna put some dates on it. All right, so we've got a name that's only internal. And then we've got this interface here where we can just replace this with a different logo if we want to. So let's pretend this is our new logo. Um, I can add alt text just like I do on any other email program, maximize the width and the height. I can say this is how I want it to be on mobile devices. Very, very important. I can put a link there if I wanna click through. I can choose to center align, right align, left align. And again, I can change this padding here on the left-hand side. So if I go back to this done area, I've got all of these different things I can drag into the email, or I can actually choose different layouts and then that save sections that I just talked about is right down here. So let's say that I'm actually gonna create a section where I have a picture and I have a signature. So here we're gonna drop the content here and I'm just gonna say we actually want, let's go back to done, here I want a photo. And then this photo is actually going to be this person here. And I'm going to drag the content that I want next to this photo to be the signature block. So let's say I'm gonna do this. It's Sally Smith and she happens to be a manager. And then we put her email here. So we'll go Sally at managers.com. And then we've got a phone number. Perfect. Okay, so let's say I'm actually gonna send out an email from Sally You know, quite often. I'm gonna to choose to save this. So if I click this save section, that actually gives me a layout name 
Sally's signature and I press check. And that allows me to have it in this section. So let's pretend that it's not here for a second. And I want to create an email and I want to actually drag and include that signature. Now, every single time that signature is going to orient just like that. So that's, that is a new feature in HubSpot. Love, love, love this. Makes jobs a lot easier and you can streamline that experience. So in the same way, again, we have other things in email marketing like buttons. Uh, we have calls to action. All of these things, again, are drag and drop. I can add my links here and then all of this gets oriented just like it does um, in your um, other email clients. I can choose to preview what this looks like in a mobile device. So I've got it here on desktop. I can actually look at what it looks like on mobile. Perfect. And then there's also a dark mode preview, which actually you then have to go through the different email clients, but that is an option. A lot of people these days do use email and view email on dark mode. So you might wanna actually test that as well. And then there's the option to send a test email, but we haven't done any of the settings yet. So anytime you're sending an email, you do want to run some best practices here and HubSpot does a great job of kind of giving you some general guidelines to think about when you're using their email products. So a from name, again, the name that recipients will see the from address. Every time you're putting together an email, that from address and the from name is super important because it carries so much weight and credibility that you want that to be right. Subject line, you can even personalize the subject line. So hi, and then I was want to use a contact field. I can do that here first name and here's your email perfect and then we've got preview text so that's that little text that appears under the subject line when it comes up on your mobile phone for example and then we've got a subscription type which we don't have a video about this right now we will in the future but right now subscription types are basically what someone's opting in to receive from you so you might have opted in to receive news there's opt-in to receive product updates. There's opt-in to receive company um, opportunities or employment opportunities. Every time you send an email in HubSpot, you need to select a communication or a subscription type because then that says, yes, that person gave me the email to be opted into that subscription type. So that's gonna be uh, something you'll need to keep in mind. And then we can actually link those emails to an overall campaign and see the performance of that campaign over time. So the last piece is we can actually send or schedule this. If you happen to have pro or enterprise, you can create A-B tests of this. So I can say, I want this email headline to be tested like this against this headline. And then again, whoever the winner is of that, the rest of the emails will then send under that headline. So I can do that now, I can send for later. And then this piece is one that I really, really like about HubSpot. So unengaged contacts are people that are considered to be, it's like gray mail, I think is what it's called. They haven't opened email or interacted with your emails that you've sent for about 13 times. And what happens then is they become disengaged and by continually sending to them, it actually hurts your email deliverability score. So by actually offering this in the email interface, we're not gonna send to unengaged contacts. So that means that we have a higher deliverability and really as a marketer, what we should do is examine why isn't that person receiving or why isn't that person opening my email? What is a better way to engage those folks? So that's gonna be uh, here in the, the features as well. So if I review and send this, I can actually choose a list that I want it to go to. So in this case, we're gonna go to customers with kittens. And if I wanna review and send it, I would have to have that subscription type turned on. So I'm gonna exit out of that. That's kind of a general walkthrough of the marketing emails. Once you do send an email, it actually looks like this. So it's gonna show you what your open rate is, your click-through rate, and your reply rate. Again, this email didn't go to a huge list. It only went to a person just so we could show you what it looks like, but all of your different um, tracking information goes here. And then we've actually got a lot of different information that you can see just for that email. If we actually have that list of recipients, you can see who's engaged, who's clicked, and then all of this data can be aggregated into reports as well. So again, the beauty of all of this is this is centralized with the contact at the center. And then I can say, if the contact fits this criteria, I wanna include them in an email campaign. I do it right inside my HubSpot CRM. And then when you do that, your contact records will actually show that emails went out to those folks. And so here in the middle, we've actually got an email that went out and we're able to see if they interacted with it and it's logged right in their profile. So that's it. That's a quick marketing email demo of what it looks like inside the platform. If you are considering HubSpot for email marketing because you're already using it for the CRM, keep in mind there's Starter, Pro, and Enterprise to know exactly what you're needing there. Feel free to reach out and let us know if we can help you. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, 
hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.